In this video, I will be breaking down one of the ways and workflows I use for creating simple stylized plants. In this particular occasion, I decided to start by creating a high poly in ZBrush. I started with a simple plane to use as the background and to help me when it comes to the placement of the objects as they would fit in a square texture. I appended a primitive cylinder to the project, scaled it so that it became really flat and then enabled Dynamesh to give it more geometry. I used the move tool while keeping my camera fixed to the frontal view in order to change the silhouette of the plant. I also used the snake hook brush to pull out the stem. To give this leaf more visual interest I masked the center portion of it and moved out the main shape. Later I smoothed it out to prevent having sharp geometry. I used the damp standard brush to add the main center piece and also the side details. In this case I noticed that it could use a bit more visual flair so I used the masking tool set to lasso. Reverse the mask and move the geometry inward by using the move tool. I also smoothed it out to make sure there weren't any hard edges. I made a duplicate of the original sculpt to make a second model which would have a few minor differences. I used the same process to create breaks in the silhouette of the leaf. After this, I hit the back plane and exported the models as my high poly models. I also exported the plane and loaded that into Maya. I then replaced it with a different, simpler low poly plane and exported that as my low poly model. In Substance Painter, I imported the plane and proceeded to bake the high poly details. At first, I encountered some baking issues where the model did not bake properly. To fix this, I increased the max frontal and rear distance setting. For the ID map, in order to get a clean outline of the model, I decreased the dilation amounts to almost zero. Next, I changed the shader being used to one with alpha test. After that, I added an opacity channel and a layer with a mask that uses the ID map color for masking. I also added an invert filter to this mask layer. With the main shapes ready, I decided to export the texture in order to create another low poly model in Maya. In this case, the exported textures helped me get a preview of the shapes in Maya. After doing this, I was still having some issues seeing the textures applied in Maya so I decided to go back to Substance Painter and add some color to the model. In this case, I used the 3DX stylized smart material which you can find a link to in the video description. After applying the material, I re-exported the textures and also removed the opacity in order to see the main shapes a bit better in the viewport. I used a duplicate of the original plane and drew out the shape by using the multi-cut tool. In this case, I made sure to keep my cuts close to the actual shape of the texture in order to avoid what is called overdraw, which essentially means having overlapping geometry rendering complete opacity. In games, it is highly recommended to avoid any overdraw when possible. After I had cut out the geometry, I made a few duplicates while also bending them and place them together to create a low poly model. After that, I merged this new piece and re-exported them along with the original plane. In Substance Painter, I used the project configuration window to re-import the low poly model. In this case, I encountered an issue where Substance Painter would not import the model. After looking at the error log, I decided to re-import the model while unchecking the box for stroke preservation. This allowed me to import the model with the newly added mesh. For the texture, I proceeded to change the main color, but noticed that using the bottom gradient slider in the material settings would make the tips of some of the leaves darker. In this case, I wanted the opposite to happen, so I decided to go back to the high poly model and rotate one of the leaf shapes. I then rebaked all the maps, but in this case I encountered another issue while baking. The map bakes would not look correct when baking. 
To fix this, I had to go back in Maya and offset the overlapping UVs from the merged model. I re-imported the model into Substance and this time around the maps baked just like before. There are a few times when Substance Painter will not bake maps correctly if you have overlapping UVs, and the fix for that is to offset the UVs by 1 in the UV quadrant. After all that, I also rotated the UVs in Maya for one of the leaf shapes, so that it would line up correctly. The last steps were to continue the texturing process by adding layers on top of the main material. I added another layer for the edge details and also three more layers, one where I manually painted the tips of the leaves with a brighter color. One where I did the opposite of that and painted the lower parts a bit darker, and another layer with a bit of color to add color variation. So this is one of the ways I typically make stylized plants. There are other workflows such as using Substance Designer or Speed 3 to create these types of models as well. Let me know what you think of this workflow, if you would like to see a video on doing this with a different workflow, and also if you have any other ways to do this, feel free to share in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, I invite you to take a look at the channel for more videos like this one.